With a certain blue streak speeding by on his way to cinemas this month, I thought it was about time we took a look at the Transformers' own fastest thing alive. The super speedy Autobot who talks almost as quickly as he runs. These are the basics on Blur. The character of Blur was created for 1986's The Transformers The Movie. Like most of the film's new cast members, Blur was created for animation first by character designer Floro Deary, whose artwork was then used as the basis for the toy, which was the opposite of how Transformers characters were typically created at the time, as the toy normally came first. However, animation studio Toei would further modify Deary's design after production on the toy began, resulting in the figure looking somewhat different to Blur's finalized appearance in animation. With a sleek hover car as an alternate mode, Blur was characterized as a highly strong Autobot data courier who both moved and talked at super speed. He was voiced in the film and the subsequent third season of the animated series by actor John Moshita Jr., who at the time held the record as the world's fastest talker. We got Decepticons in the case, Decepticons in the air, Decepticons inside the wall, Decepticons, Decepticons, Decepticons. If we beat them up the walls, initial on the air, if we shoot them out of the air, then initial on the gate, so it doesn't leave us nowhere, that's where. Blur appeared fairly regularly in the series, his nervous, high-speed rambling often testing the patience of his comrades, with a prominent spotlight adventure alongside Wheelie that saw the pair attempt to transport a new transforming cog for Autobot City from Cybertron to Earth. Blur's toy was re-released in 1987 as a Target Master, a kind of transformer who came with a partner minifigure that could transform into a gun for them to wield. Blur's partner was the excitable, impulsive Haywire, a teenage alien from the planet Nebulos. The story of how Blur became a Target Master was told in the animated series finale, The Rebirth, in which he and a team of other Autobots were blasted across the universe to Nebulos and joined forces with a team of local rebels. However, Blur's Target Master figure wasn't released in Japan, and The Rebirth wasn't aired there. Instead, a Japanese original sequel series was produced, Transformers The Headmasters, which quickly phased Blur out, sending him off on a quest with Cup and Rodimus Prime to search for a new planet the Transformers could call home after Cybertron was destroyed. Blur also featured in the Transformers comic published in the United Kingdom by Marvel, which, like the toy, based his appearance on Floro Deary's earlier design. The comic depicted Blur as a time traveller who came back from the future era seen in the movie to help thwart the efforts of Decepticon leader Galvatron to conquer the past. It wasn't until the later release of his Target Master figure that Blur joined the cast of the American comic book, in which his young, present-day self appeared as part of an Autobot crew who relocated to Nebulos in an effort to escape the war. Evil Nebulan politician Lord Zarak initially turned his people against the Autobots by tricking them into thinking Blur was attacking them, but the Autobots eventually proved their goodwill and joined forces with the Nebulans as Headmasters and Target Masters. Though Blur's toy was discontinued in 1988 and no further toys of him were released in the original series, he still made occasional appearances in the comic until its final issue in 1991 though the UK comic did kill off his future self, who was decapitated by Galvatron. Blur's been a fairly regular presence in new Transformers series in the 21st century. The first new incarnation of the character debuted in 2002's Transformers Armada, Though, like many Transformers of this period who reused the names of classic bots, Armada Blur had no real connection to the original. He was a no-nonsense Autobot sniper who could convert to a flight mode by powerlinking with his Minicon partner Incinerator. His cold, all-business attitude and lack of regard for the Minicons initially rubbed his teammates the wrong way, but he soon softened up with a little help from Hotshot. Not that he stopped being a serious guy. When the young Sideswipe arrived on Earth hoping to work with Blur, Blur couldn't deal with his dorky hero worship, and he pawned him off on Hotshot. The Armada Blur toy was retooled and recolored for 2005's Transformers Cybertron, with a new head and color scheme based on the classic character. This toy received two very different characterizations in different areas of the world. 
In Hasbro markets, Cybertron Blur was a retired racing champion turned grumpy old racing coach from the speed-obsessed colony planet Velocitron. But in Japan, and hence in the Cybertron cartoon because it was produced in Japan, he was an energetic young civilian Autobot hiding out on Earth. These and other modern cartoons have chosen not to replicate the original Blur's fast talking gimmick, with one exception. Transformers Animated, which in 2008 reimagined Blur as a motormouthed undercover agent of the Cybertron Elite Guard and brought John Moshita back to reprise the role. More to the point, the name's Blur. I'm an Autobot intelligence agent sent to this planet by the Elite Guard to keep an eye on Optimus Prime and his crew as well as monitor Decepticon activity. And you, my friend, have just blown a decacycle of covert surveillance. Got that so far? While stationed on Earth to keep tabs on Optimus Prime's unit, Blur fell under the control of an all-spark-powered remote held by pirate TV host Master Disaster, and was forced to participate in illegal street races until Bumblebee took the crook down. Later, he joined forces with Prime's team to stop the Decepticons from opening a space bridge to Cybertron. In the course of the battle, Blur fell through the bridge and was set adrift in space. But he used his speed powers to literally run across the galaxy back to Cybertron to warn the Elite Guard of the Decepticons' plot. Unfortunately, he didn't know that his superior officer Longarm Prime was really the Decepticon spy Shockwave in disguise, who crushed him to apparent death to keep his warning from getting out. However, stories from the official Transformers convention BotCon would later reveal that Blur's spark had survived the experience, and he was eventually recovered and repaired. 2008 also saw Blur's introduction into the world of IDW Publishing's Transformers comic books. IDW's Blur was a champion racer, an egotistical glory hound who had let fame go to his head, only to lose it all when the start of the war resulted in the races being cancelled, leading him to join the Autobots to find new purpose in life. After the war came to an end, Blur fulfilled his old retirement dreams when he took over the running of the famous Cybertronian bar, Macadam's old oil house. Though he would get one more shot at racing when Windblade recruited him for a mission to Velocitron. When Cybertron came under attack from the monster planet Unicron, Blur heroically sacrificed his life using his super speed to get civilians to safety. But he wasn't fast enough to save himself. In 2010, Blur's look in IDW's comic would influence the design of his new figure in the Transformers Generations toy line. Blur was also characterized as an arrogant young racer in the Aligned continuity. Initially depicted as a native of Velocitron in the 2011 novel Transformers Exiles, the character would later be added to the Transformers Rescue Bots toy line in 2015. As seen in the Rescue Bots cartoon, Blur and his shipmate Salvage crash landed on Earth 10,000 years ago. The pair were found and reactivated in the present day by the rescue bots of Griffin Rock, who welcomed them onto their team. But Blur proved difficult for the bots to tolerate, as his reckless, selfish attitude repeatedly filed up their rescue work and caused accidents. Resenting their attitude, Blur stole the rescue bot's ship and took off. But his conscience soon got the better of him, and he returned to help the bots save Griffin Rock from a crashing satellite and rededicated himself to being a rescue operative. This Blur would later guest star in a few episodes of sister series Robots in Disguise in 2017 and get several figures in the Robots in Disguise toy line, sporting a new design that blended his Rescue Bots look with the original Generation 1 character. Other appearances by Blur in recent years have included a new figure in the 2016 Titans Return toy line, the head of which was formed by the speed-boosting Titan Master Hyperfire and a guest role in the Transformers Cyberverse animated series in 2018, which once again depicted him as a hotshot young racer from Velocitron. Blur's role in the series was a tragically brief one, which saw him infected and killed by the Rust Plague sweeping across his homeworld. Though the original Blur's fast talking has always made him memorable with fans, it's fair to say that his overanxious mile a minute jabbering meant he was never exactly well loved for his personality. 
However, his 21st century reinvention as an egotistical racer in need of some humility has brought him new fame and popularity at last. So uh, what do you think the chances are of IDW putting him in a Transformers vs Sonic crossover? And those are the basics on Blur. Gotta go fast down to the comments and let me know which one's your favourite. Give the like button a click if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe for more Transformers history and lore, and if you can, consider visiting Patreon to help support the series.